Hello guys, Soft Tony here and this tutorial I will be showing you how to create a modern and energetic stomp intro here in After Effects. This dynamic style is perfect for promos, openers and social media content. And also if you enjoyed this tutorial hit the like button, subscribe and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think or what you like to see next. Of course your feedback helps a lot and now let's jump into After Effects and start creating. Alright, we're here in After Effects and as always let's first create new composition, hit here or on this little icon and as usual this is gonna be final and for the duration 6 seconds long, full HD composition. Hit ok and now let's also create another one, hit here and this is gonna be media 01 and for the duration I will go only 1 second. Hit ok and now let's duplicate this media 01 for a few times, go edit and then find here duplicate or hit ctrl plus D on your keyboard for a few times. And now let's also go here inside the new composition and as you can see I have already imported this images folder and this is free footage from pexels.com, I'll just hit S for scaling to adjust it here inside this media 01, also open up this media 02, drag and drop and repeat everything all the way to our media 05. And now I will just speed up the process so you don't have to wait. And now as you can see we have imported our media here inside our new compositions. Now let's close everything and here inside the final composition drag and drop this media 01 like so. And let's also hit S for scaling and for this scale I will do 120 here at 0 second, set up the first keyframe and then let's go to 1 second and I will type here 100. Now select again this media 01, go here inside effects and presets and now I will type motion tile effect, drag and drop, ok. And also for this output width and output height I will type 400 and let's also check this option mirror edges. And now it's also time to create our text, go here inside the media 01, hit ctrl plus T or go hit on this horizontal type 2 icon and for this first text I will do random one, soft tony, ok, select this text, go here on align panel, center it, if you can't find align just go window, you will find align here, ok, and now let's also animate. And before we animate just make sure to hit here for the stroke width, I will do 2. You will see later on why we've done this, ok. And now let's open up this little triangle, go here on animate, find here fill color and select this option opacity. Now let's go for the fill opacity, instead of 100 I will do 0. And now let's go here on add, go here on selector and find here wiggly option. And now as you can see we have this cool wiggly text here inside this media 01. Now let's also open up this wiggly selector 1 and change here mode from intersect to subtract and here you can also play around with bunch of different presets. Now let's hit zero and this is looking awesome. Now let's go and close this little triangle for the text and you can copy this text, hit ctrl plus c and go inside this media 02, paste it, hit ctrl plus v and we can change it here maybe to go motion, I'm just showing the way. You can also hit here on align to align it to the center. Now let's also go here inside the media 03, also paste it here, I will do maybe random text after, for the media 04, this is gonna be effects, and also for the media 05, paste it, subscribe, ok. And now here in the final composition, let's animate our medias. As you can see we have this media 01 here inside the finals, now let's go right click to create new adjustment layer, and this is gonna be TR for transition. And let's also trim this one, go here and hit ctrl shift plus D and now delete the rest of this adjustment layer and as you can see our transition is also one second long. Now let's select this transition, go here inside the effects and presets and I will find transform effect, drag and drop onto our transition, ok. And for this adjustment layer I will go to around maybe 15 frames or so and I will animate scale, set up the first keyframe here at 15 frames for this scale parameter and now let's go to around maybe 1 second, somewhere around here and I will type 25. And now as you can see we will have this basic animation, now hit U to show both of the keyframes, 
select them, hit F9 or go right click, keyframe assistant and find here easy ease. Now let's go here inside the graph editor, if you can't find curve like this one, find here edit speed graph, alright, and draw a curve like this one. Now let's hit 0 to see the preview, and this is gonna be our base transition. I will close this effects control for now, and let's also import the media O2 here inside this final composition. And this media O2 I will place to around maybe 25 or 24 frames ahead, ok, and as you can see we will have something like this. Now select this media O1, hit F3 and copy this motion tile effect, Control plus C and paste it also on this media O2. And also for this media O2, really important step, hit S for scaling and instead of 100 type 400. And now when we hit 0 we will have this cool looking animation of our media O1 and media O2. In every moment you can reposition this media O2 according your needs, maybe here to around 22 or 23 frames, hit 0 and this looks cool to me. Select this media O2 and transition, hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate it and move them above somewhere around here. And let's also grab them and move it to maybe 1 second and 15 frames. You can also trim this media O2, move it somewhere around here. Select this media O2, find here media O3 in our project window, hold Alt on your keyboard and just drag and drop on top of this media O2. And now as you can see we will also have media O3 here inside the final composition, you can also readjust it here, play around, and now when we hit 0 our animation looks cool. And also one thing we have forgotten to do, you can select here everything and let's turn motion blur, if you can find motion blur, hit here toggle switches and modes, first turn it on here, enable it and also for every layer let's turn it on. Now hit 0 once again. Just wait until this renders out in the final composition, maybe it will take a little bit longer because of motion blur. And now as you can see our animation looks great. You can also hit here media O3, just play around a bit, reposition it. And now when we hit 0 our animation looks awesome. Now let's also import media O4, let's repeat everything, select this media O3 and transition, Control plus D, move this one above and also reposition it here inside final composition, like so, trim this media O3 comp, now let's also select this media O3 upper one and find media O4 here in the project window, hold alt and just drag and drop on top of this media O3. And now as you can see we will have in our finals also media O4, maybe move it to the left a bit. And for the final step, let's go inside this maybe media O2 composition, let's hit S for scaling for this image O2. If your images are full HD images, for this first scale keyframe you can do 115 or 120, but for this one I will do maybe 50 because this is larger footage, maybe 52, and for this second keyframe I will do maybe 47. And now when we hit 0 we will also have movement of our image O2. Every media is different here, I will hit S for image O3, for this first keyframe I will go maybe 45, go to 1 second, and for this second one, just to make a movement, I will go to around 40, and it's looking nice, and now I will just speed up the process so you don't have to wait. And now let's go back here in the final composition, our animation will look even better. Just wait again until this renders out and as you can see our animation is looking great. Let's just expand this transition O2 maybe to somewhere around here and also move this media O4 maybe somewhere around here and now when we hit 0 our animation is looking great. Alright guys, this is the way so you can easily create as many medias as you want here. And also for the final step I will show you how to do opposite animation, maybe for this transition too, hit F3 and also hit U to show both of the keyframes. And for this first keyframe let's leave it to 100 for the scale parameter and for the second keyframe I will do 200. And also for this media O3, now instead of 400 I will type here 50 or 75. And now when we hit 0 we will have 
opposite animation and this looks great. And now also if you change this media O3 and transition to go inside media O3 and for the scale parameter just select both of the keyframes, go right click, for the keyframe assistance find here time reverse keyframes. And now in our finals we will have also opposite movement of our media and this looks really really awesome. And also you are always free to go inside every media composition here to adjust settings a bit more and to play around also with the keyframes and everything else here inside the final composition. Alright guys that was everything for today's tutorial and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and also if you found this video helpful please hit that like button and also take a look at my channel for even more great tutorials. And also if you have any thoughts or suggestions you can leave me a comment down below in the comment section. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye!